Hello, Minecrafters, and welcome to episode three of our Unstable playthrough. And I am finding more and more things that seem to be unstable. However, I have been doing a lot of work. And you can see I have done a, a little bit of work. Uh, there's a visiting horse over there. That, just above my head, is where my house used to be. And so I have now cleared out. The gray in the middle is a 3x3 three three chunk. And then that is wrapped with another chunk all the way around. So turns out to be 5x5. Five five. And let's get started on what all we've got going on. Now, this cobblestone by Chisel is one of the first things that I have found to be rather interesting. And as you can see, I took damage because of how fast I cut it down. Um, so, just nor using a normal iron sword, I was fighting something and I happened to hit one. And as you can see, when you hit it, it disintegrates. And as you can see below, I'm, I'm hungry. So, definitely not in creative mode. And so, yeah, serious problem with that. Uh, so, I'm actually going to have to redo my entire floor. Because I want it to be a little more durable than that. Now, I did find that if you hit it with a pickaxe, you'll actually, you'll at least get the resources back, and you can place them again. But if you hit them with anything else, they're just gone. So, bug number one. Now, if, uh, if you're a very alert and astute person, you will notice a couple of things missing. Namely, uh... Do, do, do. I actually, I need to put the little, I keep on forgetting the at sign. Namely, the furnace and the pulvis are gone. Um, that was my own fault. I was asleep. I was in the process of sleeping through the night. And, that, okay. Couldn't tell if it was floating or if I'd stuck it there. Anyways, I'd I had started sleeping through the night, and I figured, well, you know, it is just crested night, and I did the whole sleep thing, and I was like, you know, during the day, nothing's going to spawn. Dog had to go out, so I didn't hit escape, which would pause it. And whenever I came back, a creeper had blown a nice crater, and as a matter of fact, two of my ladder pieces are still gone. Uh, killed me, and decimated a few things so yeah my my furnace is gone my pelvis is gone i had four efficiency upgrades two speed upgrades they're all gone but that's life um what else ah i did make this this is actually pretty cool this is a chunk loader by neotech and it's actually pretty easy to make Uh, right here, chunk loader Neotech takes a block of or four blocks of gold, four blocks of iron, a block of redstone, and you can change zero up to three. Oh shoot! I had gone into the config and made it five instead of three because, well, how big I'm making this. And then I did an update, and so apparently I have to go in and change the INI again, or the config file. Which leads me to something else. Now, this next item I'm getting ready to show you, be very careful with, because it crashed and corrupted my world, and I had to go back to a save. Um, but here in your claimed trunk, claimed chunks, you have 
where you can left click to claim and right click to unclaim. Well, when you claim a chunk, you can also now control click and that becomes chunk loaded. And as you can see down here with the base configuration, you have you can have up to 50 loaded chunks. And I, apparently that works like a chunk loader. So I think that's kind of cool. I knew that was supposed to be coming, but they never said if they were going to finish it out or what. Um, okay, let's make a trip. Because our little blocks here have made me think of something else that actually has to do with Prismarine. And that's what I made a couple of swords out of, playing around. But I, I got the idea that, okay, these are easily broken. So let's take advantage of that. Hurry up and go down, son. There we go. So I thought I'd take advantage of the fact that those blocks are easily broken. And why are my waypoints gone? Well, okay, I'm not going to be able to show you because apparently all of my waypoints are now gone. Hmm. Well, that kind of bites because uh, I was going to show you, but I found an underwater monument. And I was, and when you're in the underwater monument, when you've not killed the bosses there, you get, uh, what's it called? It makes your mind real slow. I can't remember the name for it right now. But anyways, level three, and it takes forever to break a block. Except for these. Um, these are still instant breaks. So much so that my iron pickaxe broke. I used the durability all the way down to zero. This was broken, and it would still break and give me the cobblestone back. So I thought that was kind of cool. Now, uh, next up. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. Hmm. All right. Magic bean. Uh, where do I want to plant this? Do, 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 do this. Just like Jack. Plants a magic beanstalk. And so you'll want to go up, up, up. And I'm hoping I don't mess up. Alright, I'm holding shift. Uh, bean pod. I guess I'll break it. Okay, maybe not with that. Alright, let's use an axe then. <clears throat> okay, I'm not real sure what I got from it. But we'll find out. I hope I'm not free falling. Oh, evidently not, because it slowed down at the bottom. Uh, where'd the fog come from, though? Oh, looks like it's clearing away. All right, but anyways, magic bean, you go up to the top, break the pod, and I got, uh, I got an emerald. Sweet, because I've been worried how I, how on earth I was going to get emeralds. Uh, eight gold ingots, three diamonds. Nice. I can definitely live with that. And to get rid of yon beanstalk, just break the bottom one. Uh, let's try that again. And it takes off. And so we go back up here. And evidently... Ooh, I was racing it. Apparently it wasn't all the way to the top. I'm um, holding shift to keep from going back down. And then breaking that with an axe. And then getting this stuff from it. So we'll go back down to the bottom and see what we got actually kind of cool effect 
And two more emeralds, some more gold. Looks like another couple of diamonds. Nice. But yeah, that's what that is. And you can you can get the regular beans. And I'm going to use these here shortly. You can take the regular beans and wrap them in either gold nuggets or coins or whatever and make a lesser magic bean. And this will do kind of the same thing, but from what I understand, not nearly as good. First of all, it's not nearly as fast. So we'll let that one go up for a while. And we'll let that one go up. So let's go over here. Yeah, see, that's going to take a good bit longer. And from what I understand, the lesser magic beans like this that you make don't always have a pod at the top. However, if you need to get up high and do so quickly, Okay, now see that one doesn't that one didn't come with a pod. Now get rid of that one and come over here. Let's go up this one. No, oh, no, no. I almost messed up. All right, go to the top of this one. Up into the clouds and nothing at the top of that one. The actual magic beans have the pods at the top, and you get nifty stuff. So, but now let's move on to what we're going to be doing today. Um, let's see, let me go ahead and get out here. Because I think what I'm going to do is... Um, yeah, let's do this. I want to go right here. And I'll place that there and that there. Because one of those is going to be for this side, one's going to be for that side. Because this over here is actually going to be, I think, where I'm going to have my some of my Thomcraft stuff. And over here, I'm going to work on Batania. And so that'll give you an idea of what we're doing today. Um, do, do, do. Oh, nope, there's my buckets. Because I'm going to need some water. And if I glance up to my map, up to the top right, I know I've got water right over here. But I want to get a couple of buckets of water. That way I can set me up a, a water source over there in the corner. And I'm going to end up taking all of this down and dispersing it around different places uh, within the area that I'm going to be working here. So let's see. First thing I want to do... Got some stone there, and I got some lumber, hmm. and I guess I'll go ahead and get some cobblestone, and I don't need that. I need that, just not right now. Um, I'll take the gold with me, because there's quite a few things in Batania that use gold, and what else? Oh, I know. I need a leather. And... Well, I got the cane farm out there. I can make some paper out here. And that's actually what the, the sugar cane is out here for. Is pretty much just making paper. Alright, um... Let's break out that one, this one, 
when you can see just from breaking the the dirt and happening to click once past the dirt I already broke those so a little frustrating with that because that's actually one of my go-to blocks for building but not gonna be this time and I'll put you there for now um all right let's see I'll put that there pick it up and make a crafting table like that and I'll put you there now I can break that and it's gone so no worries all right uh put that there and let's see if I can remember mm, I got it upside down nah it's the pedal apothecary oh that's right I need one of those I was close Dun, 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 dun. all right let's open up our little bag here I've got the most of the white so let's pull one of those apart and we'll put that there and we'll have our petal apothecary wow it's getting dark already Uh, let's go back and sleep through the night because I don't want creepers showing up blowing up my stuff and we'll get that taken care of and head back over there and get a few more things done but I am I'm really enjoying this so far um I think I'm gonna like unstable it's it's definitely nice to uh to be able to play around with the the newer mods and and all that and like I had said in the comments you, you kind of got to look at this almost like beta testing and I need to do this a little bit differently because now, well, I guess I can get to the water. Well, not if I do that. Duh. All right. Pick that one up. Put it back there. All right. Uh, and I can't pick it up from there because that's going to be... All right. Let's break that. And break this. Pick up that source block. And I'll put that there. Put my petal apothecary there. Break that. Put that water there. And I can have my crafting table over there. So now I can pick up my water there. That'll work. Um, what else? I guess I could bury it here and then have my water just passed. Oh, we'll see how that works. I can always move it. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and try that. All right, too deep. Put that down there. You put that down there. And put that there. That'll work. All right, pick up water. Crafting table. Break. Add water. There we go. Now we can grab our water there like that, put it in here, and still drop all our stuff in there. So there we go. Um, Next up. Now this is kind of a neat little way that I found to do sugar cane because um, if you look here I've got the water there but 
with the dirt like that you don't have to worry about any of the sugar cane falling down in the water losing it or any of that stuff and uh, just works out really easy okay so I'll take that and make some paper first well, one I guess I'll actually need that um, dun -dun 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 -dun. now I'll take you and do that oh that's right um I need well wow. I hacked up all the trees around here looks like it I could probably I might have a sapling over here in one of my chests we'll go see sapling sapling well we'll see if the Arcadia sapling will work and actually I can just do that right here and there we go and we have our Lexica Batania and I learned an achievement yay all right, so one of the first things we're going to want to do find choice of the strapping sapling and a book together. Uh, despite its look, Batania is in essence a tech mod by definition of requiring you to put to use ingenuity, thought, and redstone to create and process. It's good to keep that in mind. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment if you're worried. And you can read through all of this. The video will be back soon. Okay. Ah, now, generating flora. Uh, actually, functioning flora is the first one we want to do. Because I am looking for... Not going to be under generating. Basic mechanics, functional flora. Thought it would be under functional flora. Looking for the pure white daisy. Uh, let's see. Well, I know I can find it over here. Yeah. All right, uh, so what we're going to need here are four mystical white petals. And one thing this doesn't show, well, one thing it doesn't show is water, and the other is a seed. So let me get my little pack over here again, because this is where I put all my botania flowers. And we're going to need two of these. So I'll put that there. Now what I want to do is come over here and hit Q to throw those in here. Then we're going to throw in a seed. And we have our pure daisy. And I'll just put that there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak and place it around the pure daisy. Like that. And actually, I think I want to go ahead and make one more. So, get the water, fill that back up. Take that. I don't have any more seeds. All right, well, I know I have extras over here. Because all the excavating that I did generated a few seeds. Because I did a lot of digging. In case you can't tell. 
All right, so one, two, three, four, and one. And now that has turned into living wood. And we'll take our stone. And I might just have to go fight an enderman if he's going to stay still long enough. Come at me, bro. Really? No pearl? Come on. Oh, well. All right. So we got this. Oh, I forgot. For some reason, that uproots the pure daisy. You'd think I'd remember that. Now, if you're familiar with Batania, but haven't played it in a while, there's something new. And that is the fact that passive mana generating flowers now have this nasty little thing that they do. And that's called die. <laughs> so that is something you have to keep in mind. Oh, really? How do I do that? All right. Um, but yeah, so yeah, how you start off with, well, actually we can go to the, 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 the Lexica Batania. Um, mana manipulation? No. Generating flora. Now see, normally the first thing you go with are day blooms and nightshades. Caveats of passive. I'm probably going to say something in here. There we go. Uh, flowers require advanced, more potent, and effective active flowers. But they should not be relied upon aside from being a stepping stone, as all passive flowers will decay into a dead bush after three days of work. And it's night already. All right. Since there's no sleeping bag in this, as of yet, I might have to put me a bed closer over there. But this is going to be fairly close to the end of this episode. <clears throat> All right, so we'll get that going. I'll leave the living wood there. And I should have enough for that. Yeah. All right, let me dump some of this stuff off. Because I'm going to need to place this somewhere. There. Why not? <clears throat> All right, well. And then what we'll need to do is... Get some generating or mana generation. Probably use day blooms since I'm sleeping through the night. Nightshades aren't going to do any good. So next episode we'll make up some day blooms and we'll get the mana out of those into there. And then we'll take this one and dunk it in there. Well, I guess we don't have to. Huh. It didn't make the diluted one. Now that's interesting. A fabulous. Interesting. There's the one I really want. <laughs> but you can't quite make that one. So I I guess we don't have to uh to go the normal route. Because normally you make a diluted pool and then drop a diluted pool into another diluted pool that has mana in it to make the mana pool. But we already have mana pool. So at least we're a step ahead on that. 
But anyways, I believe that's going to do it for this episode. Um, hope you're enjoying the unstable. Uh, one thing I will tell you to be careful with. First of all, is playing around with the loaded chunks. I don't know for sure that that's what killed my world, but I was playing around with that and looking at it, and I was actually looking straight down and looking at how the lines ran and doing this and watching the whole thing up in the top right flip back and forth. And now... Well, that's interesting. Not even doing it. Oh, that's right. That's because it's my lines over there. Yeah, I was doing like this and just like that. It crashed it. <laughs> so I will tell you to be careful doing that, as you can see. Um, I've actually done that quite a few times, crashing it out like that and uh, having to bring it back up. However, when I had done it with the um, the chunk loading cut on and did that and it crashed out, it actually corrupted the world to the point that I couldn't recover it. I actually had to delete the world and go to a backup. I only lost about 45 minutes because I have the saves running every hour. And at least I didn't corrupt the drive like I did with Infinity Evolved hard mode. But anyways, while I get this loaded back up, I'm going to go ahead and say good day to you all. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you'll come back soon. If you decide to play this, do remember this is unstable just like we saw here. But anyways, um, hope you come back to see us soon. And until next time, take care and God bless.